good. We live. First video after training 23. Bridge, shut the fuck up. Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dalia, and thank you for watching today's video. Um, so today's video is gonna be all about my birthday wish list. Uh, to those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, my at is right here in the corner, uh, at Naoya Tak, N-A-O-Y-A-T-A-K. Um, it was my birthday yesterday, the 19th of February. I just turned 23. It's my Jordan year. My goal for this year is to just keep on experimenting with fashion and trying out new things, uh, push myself out of the bad reads. Kind of corny, cliche, it's the usual, but hey, that's what I try to strive for every day and every year. For my sewing and more of my creative side, I want to learn how the basics of tailoring and um, I have the basis for, not a brand, but kind of like the, 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 the foundation for uh, what I want to make so yeah there's a lot of things going on but I want to focus on one at a time and then go forward with it anyway to get into today's video I have about 10 pieces uh, on my wish list from Essence, Forfetch and just other brands um, and wanted to show you guys what are on the <laughs> what's on my wish list and talk about why I want it, why I want to get into these things. So the first piece is this woman's and Amelia Meester button up shirt. Uh, that's got a front, oh, shut up, new. Quite simple, but you know, just a different take on a traditional uh, button up shirt. And another detailing I like is uh, the cuff. It has a, a tie uh, instead of using just a regular button. Um, the design language is very cohesive throughout the entire piece, which I really like. And it's on sale for 376 Canadian dollars on Farfetch. Now, the next up is basically the same kind of shirt um, it's got a, instead of the buttons going right on the left side of the body, it goes diagonal. Uh, and then the fabric is this black, kind of like a lace, semi-transparent uh, stripe that's got a swirly pattern uh, that kind of turns into a bit of a psychedelic swirly um, patterns throughout. This one's really cool too. I really want to push myself to wear something that is not as basic as just a regular button up or a regular t-shirt or a regular sweatshirt. Um, I have enough of those. I, I can get those easily from work. So yeah, I want to push myself to wear something that is a bit more out there, create more interesting outfits. And then the next up is this. Oh Jesus, shut up. So the next up is this Andy Trousers. It's the same kind of fabric from the button up, um, just in the trousers. This one, I really just like the cut of it. It's just slim, it just goes well with what I have in my wardrobe, um, but then it has a pattern, so it's not as boring as just a regular black pants. And I also like this fly detailing. It's kind of like an exposed fly, or it looks like. It's $1,559 Canadian. Uh -uh. Ain't got that kind of much money. And I also just bought stuff off of my friend. Um, there's like four pieces that I bought and I think he's gonna drop off those today. So tune in next week for some dope pickups. Um, includes Raf, Rick, the next up is this um, turtleneck from Peter Doe. 
This is uh, another, again, another woman's piece, but it's so sick. You don't see a leather turtleneck, or is it a, I don't know if it's a fall leather or real leather. Oh no, it's a fall leather, okay. Um, but yeah, this just kind of gives a different texture, different sheen to um, the fitted turtlenecks I have uh, in my wardrobe. And I think I can play around with um, with textures uh, in a simple outfit even. Um, that's what I wanna, what I would wanna do if I do get this piece. But they're, oh my God, they're like $900. All right, next up is Dion Lee. Uh, it's this solid black uh, sweatshirt with the garter belt detailing. Again, it has sort of that feminine uh, design aspect to it, or what's traditionally considered uh, feminine. Um, yeah, I find this very interesting. Um, you know, you don't see a sweatshirt with these kind of detailing that often. Could be interesting layered with a t-shirt underneath where the hem's peeking out. You can have a bit of a contrast. Or I can pair it up with one of my high-waisted trousers and um, kind of give it that sophisticated but edgy look that I like. And then next up is another Peter Doe piece. Now this one is the black flared pants. On top of kind of trying out you know, more feminine pieces, uh, what or what they call the woman's pieces. Um, I also want to challenge myself to try out different silhouettes and forms and flows of the clothes. Um, I tend to choose my outfits centered around like a statement piece, but I want to get into um, the mindset of like the forms and the silhouettes and playing around with the proportions. So. Uh, flare pants, I don't have a lot of those and this looks like it's almost a full length um, so I can definitely create like an A-line um, proportion yeah just the simple black flare trousers and then the next one is again from Peter Doe I love his designs I just haven't had the chance to buy them but I've known the brand for Quite a while now. Uh, the first time I saw it was uh, his footwear, uh, his boots, maybe like a year or two ago. Um, yeah, and then ever since then I've just been keeping tabs on his stuff. And I feel like in the past like half a year, year, um, he really uh, became popular. Um, yeah, but this piece that uh, I'm looking at right now is the black slash bay leaf cropped fireman pants. Um, it's very similar to uh, Daniel Lee Bottega. Oh my god, I forgot the name. Uh, Bottega Veneta. I feel like he, I think he did a pair of pants with like a more of a diagonal cut with uh, contrasting panels of uh, leather, fall leather, and uh, regular fabric. I don't know, I wanna, I wanna support Peter Doe. <laughs> I don't know why. I, well, I think one of the big reasons is the Bottega is quite hyped, and this is no knock on anyone who likes what Daniel Lee's doing. I think it's incredible what he's been able to do after leaving uh, Celine um, and creating basically an alternative for um, what Phoebe Philo did at Celine, at, and then he, now he's doing it. <clears throat> He's doing it at Bottega Veneta. Um, I think it's incredible, but to get back on track, I just want to get into maybe like smaller brands, not as well known or um, not as big as the ones that's in these LVMH or carrying those congl conglomerates. Is that the word? Anyway, um, yeah, I like love the contrast of this pants. Um, it's edgy, but then it has the, the pleats sophisticated but it's also casual you know um it's kind of like an alternative to uh maybe like a straight leg jeans uh but gives more interest to the outfit now this piece i low-key want to try 
out wearing skirts. Um, maybe not just by itself, but layered over a pair of trousers or a pair of pants or even just like a um, long johns. Um, I feel like that could be interesting. Now this one is not available since it was, it used to be on sale at Essence, but I think it's gonna come back for the summer sale since there were some stock left. So I'm keeping my eye out for that. But yeah, it's really interesting, the cut of this. The front, there's a the big cutout, cutout on the left side of the leg. And then the back has a pretty big vent as well. So the movement is gonna be easy. I can walk around fine, but then gives that flow and uh, more of like that detail that captures my movement as I walk around or do anything. Um, I feel like the fabric is gonna kind of flap around and move in a way that maybe a pair of trousers don't. Um, so that is something I want to try out. Maybe I might just make something similar or um, just like a maxi skirt in general just to try it out before committing to these kind of designer pieces. And then next up is this Marcel Boots. Again, it's the same idea with the clothes. I want to try out different silhouettes. So I don't really have any chunky boots. Uh, my Andes and maybe my Dries combat boots, those are kind of like the chunkier silhouettes that I have. But um, yeah, as I get into more wide leg trousers or silhouettes with the volume, um, I can't just wear my Wyatt's. I think that's just going to look odd. So I think footwear that ha that goes well with the with the proportions of the clothes you wear is as important as um, the pieces that you select for the top, the bottom, the outerwear, etc. And the next up, gotta support my support my man's my my biggest inspiration. Um, of course, Sanjeev. Um, his uh, second collection is dropping next week. Um, I think it'll be. In exactly a week time from when this video drops um, but his uh, trousers uh, with the with the folded top I think it looks incredible such an interesting cut but then it has that wider leg flowy uh, nature to it which is something I want to get into uh, as I've been saying so I want to try to cop this piece hopefully it doesn't sell out um, I'm praying to God that I can get it next up is studio Nicholson um, this is very very wide uh, pair of trousers with a, an exaggerated pleats at the front yeah I don't have any sort of pants that has this much volume and I think it'll be interesting for me to try out something like this and build an outfit around it um, or with it yeah just to push the push my envelope and get out of my comfort zone of skinny jeans and a tailored top that's been my look but it's gonna be fun to experiment and try out new things and lastly um, I also want to look into more smaller brands support them um, and see what kind of story they're telling. And this brand, Jordan Arthur Smith, I found it through a friend of mine posting an Instagram story. And this brand, it's such an interesting assortment of clothes. Um, I really wanted this coat that they have, but they ran out of stock. They, and, you know, since it is a smaller brand, they don't carry a lot of stock so when I have a chance next time I want to get on it fast but yeah it's kind of reminiscent of uh, in my opinion is kind of reminiscent of um, Marta Margiela very artistic driven pieces um, I mean obviously the models wearing a pair of tabby boots so is 
it's quite obvious that where the reference and like the inspiration is coming from but um, they also put importance on sustainability there's a, a big part about it uh, in each section of uh, the products and their dye process is very interesting too so yeah I want to get into yeah these smaller brands that have a story to tell and you know something that they stand for um, will be interesting too and will be like a good source of reference and inspiration for me when I'm making starting to make stuff uh, that has a story that has a message to tell and that was that for my birthday wish list I hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing what kind of pieces I'm looking at maybe inspired you to look into something um, similar to what I've shown or maybe try out push you to try out something um, that you've been wanting to try out um, I think at the end of the day fashion is you know it's just a piece of cloth that just wraps around you um, it's the it's a societal uh, boundary or the expectation then I want to say it's kind of like a negative expectations that limits your way of expressing um, yourself through clothes um, so anchor I encourage you to try out something that you want to try out you know uh, maybe it's something daring or maybe it's going back to more simpler outfits whatever it is you know you do you at the end of the day it's just a piece of cloth that wraps around you no big deal who cares what the fuck other people say is wear what you want to wear um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week hopefully yeah uh, yeah next week yeah because I gotta show you guys what I got off of my friend because those are some sick pieces and also check out my Instagram okay all right peace